Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Alan Boyle, reporting for GeekWire about the virtual experience that has been created for Virgin Galactic's Spaceship Two rocket plane. Spaceship Two isn't yet taking on any paying passengers, but you can get a sense of what the experience will be like and see the spaceship inside and out by using a virtual reality headset. Let me show you how it works. Virgin Galactic lent me an Oculus Quest headset to explore Spaceship Two's virtual passenger cabin as part of its big reveal for the design. When you fire up the application, you drop into a virtual exhibit hall with a model of the rocket plane. Welcome to Virgin Galactic Virtual Reality. You know, by the end of this century, I hope that hundreds of thousands of people will have, have had the chance of becoming astronauts. After an introduction from Virgin Galactic's founder, Richard Branson, you can click through the menu to take a walk around the rocket plane on the runway at Spaceport America in New Mexico, or get an in-depth look at the spaceship's seat and its cabin lighting scheme. And if you click on the right buttons, you can hear from Spaceship Two's pilots. My name is Kelly Latimer and I'm a Virgin Galactic pilot. The fact that our whole mission and goal is to take people to space that want to go is what excites me the most about what we're doing. Getting a feel for going to space is the coolest part of the VR experience, of course. When I clicked on the menu to move on, I was blown away to find myself teleported into the pilot seats of Spaceship Two's cabin with a view of the New Mexico terrain at the moment when the rocket engine lights up. Five. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Fire. Fire. As I walked around the virtual passenger cabin, I was struck by Spaceship Two's similarity to a private jet. It's kind of like a Gulf Stream with no in-flight entertainment or food service, but lots more windows and a reflective mirror wall in the back. The seats look cushy, but they're built to handle the acceleration of a supersonic rocket ride to the edge of space. I was also struck by the ability in virtual space to stick my head out the window and take a look around. That's something I could never do during a rocket ride in real life. And then I decided to go a virtual step farther. That's a 50,000 foot drop from the wing to the New Mexico desert below. Could I take that one giant leap? I, I have to admit I couldn't do it. Even though I knew this was virtual reality and I was perfectly safe, unless I closed my eyes while I stepped off. Whew, once I did it, the view was fantastic. The scenery at the top of the ride with the cabin configured for floating in zero G was even better. I could get a topsy-turvy look at Earth through the windows above with the black sky of space below. It's just in the red a little rough. What a view. And of course I had to do my wing walking act in space as well. It's a virtual reality that's literally out of this world. Not a bad ride, eh? For more about the virtual experience, check out GeekWire's story as well as Virgin Galactic's website. And until Spaceship Two is flying for real, this is Alan Boyle reporting for GeekWire telling you to watch the virtual skies.